Well, so far, so good. But not very far yet, Mr. Kidd. How are you feeling, Busby? Small. Now I know how an ant feels. Prepare for insertion. <laughs> Here comes the radio beam. I always wanted to be on the radio, but not this way. Look, there's the water. One drop, and it's like an ocean. Say, aren't we going awfully fast? Yeah, but I can't slow it down. Everyone all right? Fortunately, yes. It seems our first test was nearly our last. <laughs> That's no joke. Okay, take her down, Busby. It's incredible. All this inside a single drop of water. There are many worlds, Miss Lane. The world of human beings is only one. Other worlds, what baloney. Hey, look. My gosh. Is that one of your other worlds, Guru? It ups. It's fading away. Or perhaps it was only a mirage. Over there, there's something else. I must be seeing things. Follow it, Busby. Aye, aye, sir. This is like chasing smoke. There it is, down there. Bubbles. It's an air-breathing civilization. That proves this time it's no illusion, Guru. There is an old saying, Miss Lane. The only certainty is that nothing is certain. Well, I think this is. After it, Busby. They must have gone this way. There's a turn up there. It's a dead end. And there's no island. But that's impossible. It must be here. Well, it ain't. We just went on a wild mermaid chase, that's all. All this unscientific baloney about other worlds had us fooled for a second. Perhaps we can continue our mission now, Mr. Kidd. Scientists are often fools when they fail to understand something. Yeah, but I still don't get it. Nine hours. No sign of the effect wearing off yet. Have you been in touch with them? Yes, sir. Every hour. And we check the meters every few minutes. Very carefully. Look out! Too banged up to tell anymore. It stopped. <laughs> I wonder if that was part of the test. Wait. Something is still wrong. The ship's drifting. Must be. He's out cold. Uh-oh. Look out! He's got to repair it. I'm afraid he's really out. We'll just have to wait until he wakes up. We cannot wait. Hey, the plant's moving. You see, the 
It is not a plant. It is a living creature. And in its mind, I see our destruction. It will trap us, smother us. We will be crushed. There is no escape unless we act immediately. What can we do? We must attack its mind, its nerve center. Quickly, Mr. Kidd. I will guide you telepathically to exactly what I say. Now go. There he is. Mr. Kidd, swing to the left. He's doing it. He hears you. There will be a passage. The spines are poisonous. Be careful. You are nearing the cortex. Now, proceed. Wait! Look out! Quickly! Through that hole! That is the nerve center. You must find the antennae. Hurry! Oh, head! What happened? Busby, on your feet. You've got to fix the motor. Huh? The motor? Good. No return. At once. Oh, Mr. Kidd. Straight up. Watch your arm. Your arm! Hoist. Must get back. Courage, Mr. Kidd. A little further. He is in your hands now, Miss Lane. The effect is weakening. Come in. Attention! The miniaturization effect is fading. You must return at once. We can't return until I stop this poison. But none of these medicines work. Wait a second. There might be one way. Attention, Voyager! You must return at once. Repeat at once. There. Uh, you better work now. Lane? Yes. It's known to contain a natural antitoxin. At least it works for the witch doctors of Borneo. Let's just hope it works for us. Busby and Guru. And to yourself. Well, sir, it looks like CMDF is in business. Yes. And your next mission, whenever it comes, will be the real thing. We're ready for anything, sir. Good. Because the greatest mysteries of the Earth are waiting for you.